Chess friends, Magnus Carlsen is the top-rated chess player, who is a former five-time world champion in chess, and on the other hand Torch Chess Engine has released by Chess.com team and its performance is excellent, today I will show you the brilliant game between them. Success is liking yourself, liking what you do, and liking how you do it, so let's go, Torch started the game with e4, we have e5 knight to f3, here you can play standard moves like d5 or knight c6. But Magnus played knight f6, inviting white to take the pawn, before you take the pawn you must first play d6 to get the knight out, but Torch is a stockfish subscriber so he goes for a brilliant level, he played knight takes f7, it is called knight sacrifice cockroach gambit, some of you may say, no. This is the Cochrane gambit. So what, even the chess grandmasters are cockroach in front me, cockroach lives in a toilet and disturb everybody, ha ha ha, thank god I don't use toilet, bishop have a very good diagonal, develop your pieces and pawns, so torch played d4, low rated humans can think of playing knight takes pawn, let me show you the variation, then queen h5 check will come, king can't move back because of queen d5 check, bishop e3 and it will be a checkmate. So in this position if you dare to slide your king then queen will retreat on e2, you may play d5 to protect the knight but what about bishop g5 check? You have to sacrifice your love for a third party man. But don't worry, that will not happen because stockfish is here, we have bishop e7, Magnus is thinking like a human, he want to move back his king by sliding the rook, in chess you have to think like a pro, computer or god because human brain is made for solving 2 plus 2 math problems or playing snake ladder, human brain can't solve chess problems because chess is an intellectual game, we have f4 to control the center and look at the black position. His pieces combination is in a bad condition because torch sacrificed his knight long time, if you try to move back your king by sliding the rook away, let me cover the position, rook f8 f5, bishop moves away then bishop check will arrive, king runs away bishop g5, and after doing bishop exchanges we will play queen h5 check, king has to run while doing toilet, then knight d5 will expose the king in live, so back to the position, Magnus is a smart goat so he moved back his king. What a dull chess game I am observing from white side, if I played as white I could beat Magnus Carlsen in a few moves, who said torch is a great chess engine. Gotham Chiss. Don't believe in him? He is a human and a 200 LO rated player in front of me, humans can tell using his own perspective, not from others, not from the truth, anyway we have knight d7 and Magnus is targeting to the pawn, here any normal player would push the pawn, let me show you the variation, targeting to the two pieces, what you see from your eyes is not the complete truth, if you want to know the truth then you should use your mind and intellect, Black will first play bishop g6 to get out the bishop from the attack, after the queen move we will protect the knight too, that's the reason why torch moved back his queen on e2 first, I'm glad to see that torch have at least some intelligence, maybe because he is a stockfish subscriber, few moves later, we have castle, b3, center exchanges on e5 square, torch open up his rook file bishop diagonal, and the most deadly fortune commando d-day army, ok we have c4, d6. Magnus position is totally restricted and what should he play? Magnus decided to play bishop g5, so we have outstanding move bishop g4, this is a deadly move because everyone is started to attack black pieces and his positions, if you try to save your rook, for example rook a8 then we will capture the bishop with the rook, of course this is a rook sacrifice and don't shout like the rook, the rook the rook, because you are not a monkey or doggy like Levi Rosman, king takes rook then e6 check. Black is totally paralyzed and if you move back your king then e7 will come, no matter what you will play you will lose in my hand, after losing the queen you know, so back to the position, if you dare to play king e8 then we will push the pawn anyway, knight takes d7 takes, king f8 bishop check, you have to move back your bishop then we will play queen e6, to play rook f8 checkmate, these squares are blocked so after takes, Rook check queen f6 takes, takes and after two moves later, it will be a checkmate. So chess friends, if you want to become like me and torch to defeat Magnus Carlsen then you can like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get chess intellectual contents daily, so back to the current position, we have bishop takes c1, 
Torch is not a ordinary guy, he played best movie 6, this is coming and if you try to save the bishop, let me show you the variation, then e5 will come to rain atom bombs in your position, queen e8 bishop check and game will be over for you, so back to the position. Magnus Safed the rook first, e takes bishop check, king here rook takes queen takes pawn, both side have equal amounts of pieces but white have super pass pawn, he have hulk captain america and the flying iron man, we have rook e8 to play queen check, after takes takes, it will be a checkmate, so g6, queen e3 king g7, knight b5, queen run away queen c3 check, you cannot move back your king because you will lose your rook, so we have king h6, knight d4, amazing brilliant move. If you play any normal move for example a6, then queen h3 check will come, if king g7 happen then knight e6 will fork up your pieces and it will be a checkmate you know, so in this position, if king g5 happen then we will play knight e6 check anyway which will be a mate, everything will be covered by everybody, that's the beauty of chess, so back to the position, Magnus decided to resign the same and I played from the both side, there is the checkmate in few moves. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.